Hey guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be showing you some weird and kind of cool art that you can make with food. So this is kind of a totally random video, but I just got inspired by my fridge, basically. I wanted to show you some really cool and kind of creative ways that you can incorporate the use of food in making art. And I think all these canvases came out super cool, and I think they look really cute in my room. So before I just keep talking, let's just get on with this video. So for the first step, you're going to need to have some canvases, and I'm just spray painting all of my canvases just a solid color base. And as you can see, I just did a variety of different colors that just kind of fit my room scheme, but you can do whatever colors you want. So the first food we're going to be painting with is a lemon or a lime, or even an orange, but I'm just using this lime. And first you're just going to cut it in half, and then I just use a paper plate, and I'm putting a few colors of acrylic paint on my plate and then I'm just dipping each side of the lime into a color and then just kind of using it as a stamp on top of my canvas. You can do as many stamps as you want to, you can fill up the entire thing or you can just do a couple, it's totally up to you but I think it looks super artsy and it came out really cute. This next one is one of my favorites, and I'm just using some corn for this one. So I'm taking a bunch of different colors and putting them on a paper plate again. And then I'm just peeling the corn so I just have the corn on the cob. And then using a paintbrush, I'm going to just be painting the corn. And you can paint it as many colors as you want, however you want to do it. And I just kind of freehanded it. And then once I finish painting it, I am just rolling it all on my canvas as you can see and it creates this like dotted rainbow almost and you can repaint the corn if you want or just continue rolling it like I am. And then after I finished I thought it looked pretty cool like that but I wanted to add a little bit extra and as you can see I don't know what this is called but the corn has this little stringy stuff that I already peeled off and so I'm just going to be kind of crumbling that up into a ball and then dipping that in some of the paints and just kind of dabbing that along the edges of my canvas just to give it a little bit of extra texture and I think it turned out really cool. This next one I think is my favorite, so I'm going to be using some eggs for this one. And I'm going to be cutting out just the little top section of each of the eggs. So I'm just using a needle and carefully poking in a few holes in the top. And then just using that to kind of peel away a little bit of the top part of the shell. And then putting the rest of the egg in a bowl. And you can totally save this egg and use it later. So I just kind of stored that in the fridge. I rinsed out the shells and then I put four different colors of paint in the eggs. And then comes a fun part where you get to literally smash the eggs on your canvas. It's kind of therapeutic if you like want to get out some anger or something, but it's also so much fun and you have no idea how it's going to turn out. I think it came out really, really awesome. For my next canvas, I'm going to be using some Top Ramen, or you can use any other noodles if you want to. And first I'm cutting out a heart shape with the wrapper of the Top Ramen. So I have just like a little heart in the corner. You totally don't have to do this, you can kind of freestyle it if you want. But I kind of like the idea of the heart. And then I broke up the rest of the noodles and kind of scattered them along the canvas kind of centered around the heart and then expanding outwards but once I have it the way I like it I took some other colors of spray paint and I just spray painted on top of all of the noodles and everything so I used some red a little bit of purple and blue and just kind of created a gradient effect with them and once it's pretty much dry you can turn the canvas over and take off all of your top ramen or noodles and it came out so cool and leaves a really awesome imprint in them. And for my last canvas, I'm going to be using some flour and a teddy bear. So first, I'm just covering my teddy bear in flour. And just a little warning, this will pretty much ruin your teddy bear. And before you do this, you're going to want to spray a thin layer of a clear coat on your canvas so that the flour will stick. So like I said, I covered my teddy bear in flour. You want the entire thing to be covered in flour, but not so much that it just like falls off of your teddy bear. Be really careful after you spray your canvas not to get, let flour on your canvas until you put the teddy bear down. I am just really carefully 
putting my teddy bear flat down onto the canvas as you see and making sure that everything gets pressed down but then carefully just peel it off and as you can see it leaves a little imprint of your teddy bear onto your canvas and just to make sure that your flower stays in place put another layer of a clear coat on top of that and your teddy bear is done so make sure to tell me which one you think is your favorite in the comments down below so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel which you can do by clicking this button right here and also you can check out my other videos by clicking those down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.